Big Bubble Radio. Hello and welcome to the local lockdown with me, Neil Stockley. On uh, today's show, we have three brilliant artists. Um, first up, we have Annabelle May. Um, following that, we'll have Charlotte Lubbock. And after that, we'll have Xanthia Sky. Um, it's a bit different this week. As ever, I tried to mix it up. As you heard, this week is an all-female show. Um, so yeah, let's, let's start with our first artist, Annabelle May. This is Out of My Head. That was Annabelle May with Out of My Head from the EP Out of My Head. Um, right, now to give you some background information on Annabelle May. Okay, so Annabelle May is a 17-year-old singer-songwriter guitarist um, currently studying at West Kent College. Um, she's played at Dartford Festival last year as well as being the main support for the Who tribute band in Whitstable. Um, she released her EP in May. 
uh, which is available on Spotify, Music, Amazon, Apple, and on all platforms. And um, something I've not been able to say since I started this show, which is, this is show number 10, is uh, we have a gig to announce, an actual live gig. Annabelle May will be playing at the Green Man in Methham on Sunday the 19th, which is tomorrow at 4 p.m. So if you miss live music, which I'm sure everybody listening has, this is your chance. Get down to the Green Man in Methham tomorrow from 4 p.m. and support Annabelle May there. Um, as I said, the EP is out and is available on all platforms. As ever, there will be a blog that accompanies this show where I will list all of Annabelle May's links where you can find her music and find out about upcoming gigs. And right, I'm going to play another track now from Annabelle May. Annabelle May with Endless Love. Um, what a tremendous talent for 17 years old. And um, as I said at the beginning of her intro, she's a singer-songwriter, and the songwriter part is the bit that you need to really 
you know, listen to. Because the key to making real money in music or making a career, making a, a career you can actually live from, is to be able to write. I mean, when I was at university, I was at Christchurch University and studied music there. Um, a lot of the times the tutors will go on about how important it is to get writing credits on songs. Because it's all well and good to be at the session and to play and to be on the album. But you get a session fee, you don't actually get a writing credit, which is where, where the real money is in music. If you want to make a, a career that, is, you know, that you can live off and that will last, that really is the key. So yeah, to anybody out there you know, who's of any age, if you do want to have a career in music, a really good place to start is by writing it. The Local Lockdown with Neil Stockley. So we've mentioned the fact that Annabel May obviously writes her own stuff. And she also clearly has a very good backing band, which is always important. Um, but yeah, a bit more about what I thought about the tracks. Um, Annabelle May's voice kind of reminds me of a bit like sort of a birdie sound, you know, the, that sort of tone, that breathy, and yet almost the relaxed feel of like a Corin Bailey Ray sort of track. The songs themselves had a really nice feel, um, production-wise, very good, which is, which is another important factor to take into account. You know, it's, it's, it's all well and good to be able to play your instrument well and be able to write. But if you're going to put music out there, it needs to be, you know, of a certain recorded quality. If you release something, you know, to the public, you want it to show you at your best light. And obviously, you know, if it doesn't, then you're not reaching your full potential. That's not to say you need to spend massive money on studio time. You don't. I mean, the first Gomez album was produced in their garage and it sounds amazing, but it's certainly a case of, you know, it is worth being your own critic. You know, be ultra critical of your own stuff because in the long run that will serve you well. Don't forget, you can email us. Studio at bigbubble.uk Big thank you to Annabelle May for uh, sending me her tracks. And um, we'll be coming back to Annabelle May later on for another couple of tracks. Don't worry, we'll get to hear more. And next up, we have Xanthia Sky.
That was Xanthia Sky with Ain't It Strange. What an awesome voice. Um, I heard this track last week and was like, wow, okay. Yeah, this is, this is some good quality stuff. Instantly when I heard this particular track, the first thing that came into my head was um, Annie Lennox. Um, I'm not necessarily saying like vocally, although obviously both have great ranges, but in a sense of the song itself and the production, when you listen to that track and you hear the layered vocal, the harmonies, and, and what's going on, the different percussion bits in the background, um, the keyboards at the beginning, it sounds, it sounds really good. Bubbling over with... Big Bubble Radio. Okay, now to give you some background information on Xanthia Sky. Uh, Xanthia is a singer-songwriter from Canterbury, and she's always loved singing and being involved in choirs and school bands growing up. Um, she studied vocals at the British Institute of Modern Music, otherwise known as BIM, and is now an active function singer, as well as a vocal teacher at Right Track Music in Ashford. Um, yeah, if you want to find Xanthia, just Google Xanthia Sky. As ever, as I always say, I will post all the links to all the artists mentioned and featured on today's show in the blog, which is available at Big Bubble UK. Now it's time to hear the next track from Xanthia Sky. Together and we sticking like glue Did they never think I'd find somebody like you? Special from the start Girl I love to chill and have a laugh Baby light me up cause you shine like a star Yeah Like a star Now sim sim my girl come hither They might take you out for some nice dinner Man in the mirror got me looking clearer Bonnie and Clyde no one's coming near us Xanthia Sky and Liam LC13 with Hold Me. 
Um, that was a collaborative track, obviously, featuring both of them. Um, again, very different track to the first track, that. Um, still quite a big production. There's a lot of overdub vocals. There's lots of layered harmonies, lots of use of reverb, um, which is another kind of thing I want to talk about. If you take our first artist today, Annabelle May, and you compare the production to Xanthia's stuff, they're produced in completely different ways. Annabelle's stuff is is a much it's much rawer. There's a much there's much less production going on there. It doesn't have the layering. It doesn't have the use of reverb and overdubs quite so much. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying either one is better from from each other. What I'm trying to say is, as an artist, to find your sound, it isn't just a case of obviously writing and and recording. It's finding what production methods suit what you want to do. So, you know, this is a reason why a lot of artists, bands, they change producers. You know, they use a producer for one album and then on the next album we use a different producer. If you look at bands like Coldplay, you take their first album, Parachutes, and you compare it to what they now do, they're worlds apart, absolutely worlds apart. The production, the writing, everything is different. And again, if you look at someone like Nelly Furtado, Her first album is a relatively acoustic affair. And then you take her album with Timberland. Well, you know, it couldn't be much more different. And I think to become a well-rounded artist, you need to experiment with different production techniques. And uh, as I said earlier, I'm not saying either one is better or worse than than the other. I'm just saying it's, it's amazing to hear the difference of what you can produce when using different production techniques. Also, another factor to take into account is is the factor of, are you planning to play this live? Are you going to try and recreate what you produce in a studio in a live format? Because if you are, then there's no point putting a 72-piece orchestra on it because chances are you're not going to be able to get that into a pub or into a venue that you're, unless you're playing stadiums, is it going to be feasible? Now, I'm saying all this from the point of view of being someone that's being in studios, recording as a musician. You know, sometimes not as a member of the band, but I've just been brought in to play drums. And sometimes you find yourself sat behind a kit listening to the track that's been recorded, thinking, well, wait a minute, this is meant to be a solo artist, or this is meant to be a four-piece band. And we're at the point now where there's 37 tracks, which is fine if you're, you know, it's, it's, it depends what you want to produce. That's, that's the key to what I'm trying to say. We have so many, it's almost limit, limitless now. When you're in a studio, you almost have no limits on what you can do. So it's, it's that balance, I guess, between going in there and getting what you originally wanted to produce and not getting carried away with what technology will allow you to produce. The Local Lockdown with Neil Stockley. Massive thank you to Xanthia Sky for letting me play her music. Um, fantastic voice, really well written and beautiful production. Our final artist today on the local lockdown is Charlotte Lubbock. Um, Charlotte is an absolutely phenomenal vocalist. Um, I'm going to give you all of her background information after I play this first track. I'd advise you to sit back and turn this up. Dark place, hiding the heart.
Cry No More by the fantastic Charlotte Lubbock. Um, as you can hear, what an absolutely stunning voice. Um, brilliant song, beautifully produced. Um, I really don't have to say much. You can hear it. It's a stunning track. Okay, now to give you some background on Charlotte herself. Um, Charlotte attended the Brit School. Um, she's toured the UK and Europe extensively, fronting metal band Symphony Cult, as well as being a member of Fozzy. She's played download festivals. Um, she sings in the ACM Gospel Choir. Um, she's sung backing vocals for Ariana Grande. She's sung backing vocals on Strictly Come Dancing, on Saturday Night Takeaway. Her resume really is absolutely unbelievable. Um, and she's also a really, really nice person. I've been lucky enough to work with Charlotte for the last 10 years um, in function bands where we've toured all over Europe, we've played in England, we've played everywhere. Um, and she really is absolutely amazing. As you can hear from the song, her voice is silky smooth, her range is just limitless. Um, she has natural vibrato, I really can't stress how good Charlotte is. Equally, she's also a brilliant singing teacher. She teaches vocals, um, she's one of the first people that ever told me that I could sing harmonies, um, which led me personally on to sing harmonies in loads and loads of different bands, which helped me to get loads and loads of work as a drummer, because not only could I offer, obviously, being able to play drums, I could offer being able to sing harmony vocals, which is obviously an advantage over anyone else who can't do that. So yeah, massive thank you to Charlotte for encouraging me there. Bubbling over with... Big Bubble Radio. Okay, let's discuss the single Cry No More. Charlotte describes it herself as being about finding clarity and learning to trust your gut instinct again after spending too long dwelling on what should be and punishing yourself for failing. The emotive story behind the lyric is a realisation that you are actually in control of you again and the possibility of finding someone to be with through your next chapter feels within reach. Uh, we all have light and dark in our minds and the dynamic journey of Cry No More screams as a reflection of the highs and lows encountered along the way. The Local Lockdown with Neil Stockley. OK, let's hear the second track from Charlotte Lubbock. It's 
That was Charlotte Lovett's cover of Leave a Light On by Beth Hart. Again, stunning vocal there. Um, so I'd like to say a massive thank you to Charlotte for letting me play her brand new single, which as ever, all the links to will be included on my blog on Big Bubble UK, along with all the links for the other artists on today's show. Bubbling over with Big Bubble Radio. Now it's time to move on to the next part of today's show, which is my self-indulgent selection. Uh, I'm going to start off with an artist I mentioned earlier. Um, this is Annie Lennox. The Local Lockdown with Neil Stockley. 
Don't forget, you can email us, studio at bigbubble.uk. That was Annie Lennox with Walking on Broken Glass, uh, a song I remember from my childhood because my mother used to play it at ear-splittingly loud volumes. But I can't knock her for it, it's a great song. Don't forget, you can email us, studio at bigbubble.uk. Um, obviously, today's show is, is a mostly female affair. Uh, the next track... I have to include Stevie Nicks. You have to. I, I, I was lucky enough to see Tom Petty and Stevie Nicks perform this in Hyde Park Live, and it was truly, truly amazing. Bubbling over with... Big Bubble Radio. That was, of course, the fantastic Stevie Nicks and Tom Petty would stop dragging my heart around. Um, now we're going back to the top of the show and back to Annabelle May. This is her track, What Was I Thinking? I was taking my turn to rush. we were just fine. I had stuff going on. I thought you would wait. I guess I was wrong. You tried to give me everything. Another beautiful track there from Annabelle May. Um, next up is Xanthia Sky with Maybe This Time.
maybe this time I'll be lucky. Maybe this time he'll stay. Maybe this time, for the first time, love won't hurry away. Everybody loves a winner, so nobody loved me. Lady peaceful, lady happy, that's what I long to be. Anthea Sky there really showing us how diverse a musician and artist she is. The final piece of music today is by Charlotte Lubbrook. It's an acoustic cover of Alter Bridges Open Your Eyes. But how? 
save this day and will it ever change will they open their eyes and realize we are one still today we carry on i know one day will come will they open their eyes and realize we are Was Charlotte Lovebrook there performing All to Bridges Open Your Eyes. Absolutely stunning vocals as ever. I don't need to say anything else. Truly beautiful. Um, a big thank you to our three artists today, Annabelle May, Xanthia Sky, and of course Charlotte Lovebrook. Um, as ever, the links to all three artists' social media pages where you can follow what they're up to, where you can buy their music and you can see where they will be performing next will be available on my blog which will be on Big Bubble UK. The show is also repeated on Monday at 7pm and will also be available on YouTube from Sunday 19th. Thanks very much for listening. Goodbye. Bubbling over with... Big Bubble Radio. The Local Lockdown with Neil Stockley.